I don't see what it is she did that was wrong, right? Right? What? Which part? This channel is about What is going on, folks at Fuku Ramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are new to my channel and have been kind of looking at some videos that I've been doing as of late, then continue to watch it before you commit and subscribe. But to you who have been following me for a very long time and you think that you are still subscribed, double check to make sure that you still are subscribed because you have been getting unsubscribed from my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. The bell notification, make sure it's set to all. When you set it to all, you should get notified every time I post a video, okay? All right? Appreciate it again. Now, I know y'all are like, dude, what the heck was that intro? Follow me now. Let me let me read something to you guys first, okay? I might pop the little crazy woman picture up here whenever uh, while I'm doing this talk right here. So, a Georgia woman is charged with murder after, uh, after four children die in a house fire. Darlene Brister age 40 will appear before a judge <clears throat> tomorrow monday it says a georgian woman was arrested after three children died in a house fire friday night authorities received a call from a potential domestic dispute shortly after 9 p.m on friday the call indicated that a woman was attempting to stab other occupants inside the home when paulding county firefighters arrived at the home they reportedly found seven children two who were unresponsive and three who had injuries. The remaining two children did not appear to have any injuries. Three children that were injured were rushed to the hospital where two of them were later pronounced dead, bringing the death to a total of four. The adult in the home at the time of the fire was identified as 40 year old Darlene Brister, who was taken to custody and later charged with two counts of malice murder. She is likely to face additional charges. WAGA uh, uh, well, no, reports that one never said, I just don't know who would do that to their kids. I know who would do this to their kids. It's going on right now, all over the nation right now. I know who would murder their children. Now y'all catching on to why I said what I said in the beginning, huh? It says, you just don't think things like that are going to happen. I know where it's happening at. It's been happening for 50 years. I know. Neighbors started a GoFundMe account in support of the Georgia's family funeral expenses in addition to a memorial close to the home. Authorities will continue to investigate the incident following Brister's arrest. Why did they arrest this woman? Why did they arrest this woman? I mean, according to current things that we are battling right now, women, this, this, this woman, what did she do wrong, right? This was about her health care, people. Do y'all not understand it now? Look. At least some other ones lived. I mean, four of them died. It does not matter. Um, what does it matter? Now, what I did find interesting here is that we don't know if these are her children or other people's children. It does not matter because she alleviated some of these women of their financial struggles. Do y'all not get it? it? This is what this is about. She did nothing wrong. She did not murder those children. She did not kill those children. She simply made a conscious healthcare decision for what was in the best interest of her and whoever these other children belong to. How are y'all not seeing this? Are y'all blind? Do y'all not understand that what she did was put herself, if these are all her kids, she put herself in a better financial position. If these other kids didn't belong to her, she put whoever those people kids were, she put them in a better financial position. How are y'all not understanding this? I mean, who cares whether it's one month, two months, three years, four years, five years, six years. I don't know the ages of the children, but who cares? It's about her health care, her body, her choice. How do y'all not understand this? I'm so sick and tired of people not being able to understand that this woman wasn't doing nothing but trying to exercise her freedom to do what's best in the interest of her and her health care based off of what her and go. We, let's go find this woman's doctor. Because this ain't, this shouldn't, why are they arresting her? This is between this woman and her doctor, what she did to those kids. Right? Right. The ages of the kids, who cares? It does not matter the ages of them. They still in a gestation period. I mean, they might be out of her womb in a gestation, you know, they're not grown yet, but they still were in a period to where they're not fully human yet. You know, they're not fully grown yet. So by not being fully grown, 
she did nothing wrong. Wow, that might be a new thing I might use for people that go out there and protest. Go out there and protest with the people who are uh, pro-choice and pro-abortion. Give them shirts that says, she did nothing wrong. Yeah. How's that going to work? Yeah, y'all know. Can y'all tell I'm being sarcastic right now? Of course I'm being sarcastic. But I'm just saying, in today's psychotic world, in America, let me say today's psychotic nation, America, why would she be able to argue that way? All those things I just got done saying to you guys, why wouldn't she be able to argue that way? The comment that was made, is said, I just don't know who would do that to their kids. I do. For 50 years, people have been doing it to their kids. Now, you guys might say something like, but Ty, what she did, she stabbed them to, to get the babies out. People, they got the babies got stabbed too. But Ty, you don't understand the, the, what she was doing to them could have mutilated them. Uh, how your baby gets taken out of you is mutilated too. But Ty, these kids were innocent. They didn't do nothing wrong. The ones in your womb didn't do nothing wrong either. But Ty, you just don't understand. This is about this is about this woman's freedom. Well, she parents she exercised her freedom, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, some of y'all gonna get ticked off at me. That is not the same. That is not what it is. Abortion. I'm, why can't we call? Why can't we call this abortion? Because that's what you did to these children that are inside the womb. You're calling murder abortion. So what this woman did right here, they need to redo this. Redo this title right here. Georgia woman. Georgia woman put into custody and questioning to get a psychological analysis done for aborting for children. She aborted them, ladies and gentlemen. She didn't do anything to them. She didn't, she just aborted them. She didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. Get that through your head. She did nothing wrong. Y'all look at me and think that I'm crazy, right? That's the same way I look at folks who feel that an infant inside of their stomach, that is a growing human being growing that they're done nothing wrong. Can y'all not see this? Can you not see the common sense in this? Call it what you want to. This is an attack on women's rights and the women's freedom. Well, this is an attack on this woman's right and her freedom. She is not free right now. She's in jail for exercising her freedom to do what she feels is best for her own health care. I know I keep on repeating myself, but I'm just trying to drive it home to some of you lunatics out there. That what this woman did right here in y'all eyes is nothing wrong. If you are a woman and you abort your children, I'm talking about ones that feel guilty, you change, you repented of or whatever like that. I'm not talking about that, but for the ones who feel it's okay, even I don't care. I'm in disagreement with the ones up to like 15 weeks. That's crazy. I do not care. You are someone who is for aborting children and killing children because it might jeopardize a woman's life, which is very rare. Well, these kids jeopardize this woman's life. She was having financial struggles. I, she has something going on. It does not matter. She shouldn't have to explain it to you because it's her right. But anyway, if you are somebody that is for abortion and killing the babies, you are no different than this lady right here. You're not. I don't care what the world tells you. I don't care what this system tells you. I don't care how good they're trying to make you feel. I know there's a psychological thing that happens to people out there that they can give you a positive support and positive feedback for you doing a negative thing. Yes, you have been tricked into feeling good about murdering. Can you imagine if this woman right here was able to go and do this just constantly? I mean, I don't care. My child is four years old. Ah, yeah, this is getting a little too hard. Sacrifice. You are in the same boat as this woman right here. Don't say a word about this woman killing these four kids and stabbing the other ones. If you are for abortion, you just as crazy and sick as she is. Anyway, folks, let me move on from this. Let me know what y'all think about this. Did I lose it on this one? I know I had some of y'all cracking up. But I know some of y'all understood the sarcasm in there, okay? Let me know what y'all think of this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Double check to make sure that you are. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. Make sure the setting on the bell notification is all so you can get notified when I post videos. Give the video a thumbs up right now. Click the thumbs up button right now. You're clicking it because you want this video to be circulated out there. You want voices like mine to be heard. It's up to you to do it. Share the video on all your social media platforms. Let somebody in your phone contacts know about this channel so it can get spread, okay? Really, really appreciate it if you do that, folks. All right, I'm ready to hear from y'all on this one because I know it's gonna be some pissed off folks, but ask me if I care because we the people are already pissed off because we like for people to live. Those little babies need to live. These babies right here died in this from what this woman did needed to live. The ones that's inside some of you women's stomach right now that you might be contemplating killing it. You're no different than this woman right here. Killers. Anyway, I am Ty Smith, modern renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus.
what's going on everybody so hey check this out i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos do not forget to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and also right here is where you can catch the next video the latest video that i've done but like right up here this is stuff that i've done kind of in the past so in this area you might find a video that i've done in the past it can be funny it can be something serious it does not matter but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that i do in my channel because i do a lot in this channel all right so again appreciate everything from you guys keep on watching it keep on supporting it and god bless you all